I am content creator Mary Barnett, also known as Mobile Mary. I empower women entrepreneurs by sharing digital marketing solutions on my show, Brilliant Marketing with Mary. Hey, welcome back to the Brilliant Mo Marketing with Mary show. I'm Mary, Mary Barnett, they also known as Mobile Mary. And I'm so excited for you to um, watch the show today. Again, we are giving you all the love and all the information in only 15 minutes on these shows. And today I have an amazing speaker talking about how to write a book that markets your business and helps the reader. So stay tuned because my guest, Corey, is pretty amazing. And she's going to show you the easy way to do this to make sure that it, this helps you with your business. So that is awesome. Before we get started, I wanted to invite you to my free group, um, which I'll put a link in the show notes. Um, but it's the um, uh, Marketing Innovation Playground, which is a fun, free group that allows you to be playful um, and get creative. So you can use that in your marketing to, to attract your perfect clients. And if you're kind of like, um, what would you say, stuck, and you're like, I don't know what to offer exactly, or I have all these things that I do, and I don't know how to laser focus my audience, I'll really um, get people to buy from me because a confused mind doesn't buy, right? That's like a mantra in marketing. So if you really want to get laser focused um, in what you need, we have this uh, power hour that we offer, or I offer. And it's very affordable, but it gives you a very succinct time with me. And you walk away with so much clarity, so much laser focus on what you can offer, especially going into the new year. So I encourage you to click the link that'll be in the show notes. If you would like a book of time with me, I only have a few slots left in this year, which I can't believe we're zipping into the end of the 2023. Wow. So let's bring on, without further ado, my wonderful guest. I want to read a little bit about her because she is pretty amazing. Um, and I have to read it because it is, um, there might be one person in the world who doesn't know who Corey is, but Corey Wamsley is the CEO of Aurora Corealis Publishing, and she works with leaders who have a transformational story to share. She helps them quickly and easily write and publish a book while excuse me, for their brand that helps them create a legacy and be seen as an expert while building a relationship with the reader. Corey has 18 years experience as a professional writer and editor, including 10 years with the departments of energy and justice and four years as the executive editor of Inspiring Lives magazine. So this girl knows what she's doing, right? She also wrote eight fiction books and one nonfiction book, The Spark Method, How to Write a Book for Your Business Fast, and contributed to two anthropologies. Her 10th book, The Treasures We Seek, will be available this month. In fact, I think she just launched it. So without further ado, let me bring up the beautiful, the wonderful Corey Wamsley. Yay! Hi, thanks for having me on. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for being my guest today. So you basically help people become a rock star and be like super famous. So tell me a little bit, like how did, I mean, I've just read, your amazing history, but really what, what is your, why, why, why is this so important to you to help people publish their book? Uh, uh, so many people have amazing stories that can be empowering others. And because especially business owners or people who run nonprofits, people who are leaders in their niche, they are busy. They don't have time to figure out how to write a book and how to publish it and you know where to find an editor and who's going to do my cover. All those pieces, I just, brought them all together and made it super simple. So people can actually just come to me and be like, here's my manuscript. Thank you. Just deal with this. <laughs> and we take care oh, of all really. That. So, so before, so what do they need to do to be, I know this, we didn't practice these questions. I just am honestly curious, like mm -hmm. what does somebody have to have ready before they come to you? Anything? Um, it, it depends on what they want to do. Uh, we work with people who have a manuscript already. We work with people who want to work with our ghostwriter. Um, we also work with people who want coaching. Um, I do private and also uh, group coaching. So it's really whatever it is that they need, we have. Okay. okay. So it doesn't matter where they are on their journey, as mm -hmm. long as they know they want to have a book out there. Um, because you mentioned the word legacy. And mm -hmm. I think that's so important that, um, we leave that for our kids, right? Something of, of us that they can hold on to, or even for the for the community to make leave the world a better place. Like, tell me more about your um, your desire to help people leave a legacy. Yeah, I I just have always thought it's incredibly important because our stories, you know, when they keep them locked in our heads, nobody gets to hear them, and there are plenty of people who 
you might look across the neighborhood and be like, yeah, there's nobody out there like me. And sure enough, there's probably half a dozen people who are going through the same exact thing. And wow. if we aren't all talking about this stuff, then nobody knows. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. So someone who, and in marketing, I always tell people that they are the answer to someone's prayer. Yeah. But if we keep that light under a bushel, like the song, or right, or we're not putting it out there, how are you going to show up to answer that prayer, right? So you need to put yourself out there. And a book is a phenomenal um, way to that to do that. You shared uh, your brilliant marketing share with me, which is if you open up about your story, your book becomes an incredible, authentic marketing piece. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah. Um, so I've seen some people when they start to write their book, they want to keep all of the personal stuff in. They just want to okay. share what the uh, you know the takeaways are. This is okay. what I've you know, this is what I've learned along my journey. Well, I want to see how you learned that. Why is it you're the expert? Um, open up a little bit. Show me that you're a real person. Uh, I always share a story about one of my authors who's talking about his health journey. Um, and he starts out saying like, well, I you know took everything out of my fridge and I put all these healthy foods in and I'm like, and what? Yeah. And then I ate healthy food. I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> I know you got a pizza. I know you ordered Chinese. I know you were walking past a bar and saw your friends in there and you're like, right. oh, I'm going to go in. Like you are a real person and I want to see that. So when we're sharing authentically and we're opening up about what really happened, right. we're getting people to be able to trust us because we're saying, hey, I'm, I'm a real person. I'm not perfect and neither are you. So right. And if it. I did it, you can do it too. Right. Yeah. And I think what's important is that gives them hope, right? Yeah. I mean, your readers gives your readers hope that if they're stuck in that same situation or they have that same pain point, yeah. um, that you are the aspirin or the, they say you're either a pill or a, what's that? You provide the pill or the passion or some, there's some to yeah. alliteration that, uh, you know, you either you're solving something that hurts or, mm -hmm. or helping something feel better. Like you're, yeah. I don't know. There, I should. I should think of what that is. That's important. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you also shared this um, brilliant marketing fact. It says that more that you share nuggets of wisdom within your field of expertise, the more people understand who you are and what you stand for. So elaborate on this one. Yeah, um, when you're coming at things from an educational perspective, a, a point of being able to help people, then people get it. Um, if you're trying to skirt around details or if you're uh, you know, not sharing those nuggets of wisdom, if you're just like, oh yes, here's this, then, I mean, you could have gone online and gotten that. Why, right. why would I pay for a book? Why would I come and see you talk? Why would I work with you? Which is you know, the goals that people have when they've put a book out there. Why should I do all of these extra things? I can go on a blog post and hear anybody's like, oh yes, you have to uh, be authentic. Well, why? <laughs> why should I be authentic? Tell me how you learned that. Right. And people do love to hear the ugly truth. Like, the more like graphic and I'm not saying being gross, but I mean, I think people want to know the details. They are, um, you know, they want like you, when you are on the freeway, why does everybody stop and look at an accident, right? Yeah. What happened? It's the looky loo mindset, right? We all have to know what happened and why people follow those ridiculous um, reality shows. Like yeah. I hear about, oh my God, why would anybody put themselves on that? Oh my God. Like they are looking like, their grandchildren are going to watch this like oh my god yeah. <laughs> you're like making out with complete strangers yeah. on tv like oh my god crazy yeah Absolutely well the crazy. book i'm hoping people aren't sharing that level but you know <laughs> the, the things that they are sharing are what's important to their audience right. and you know if you're whether you're doing like a business book or a book about your health journey or, you know, some sort of life experience you've had, it needs to be something that you've gone through that you can help others with. And when you're sharing like, yeah, I walked in the room and I immediately burst into tears. People are going to get that. They're going to say, yeah, I had the same exact experience, but because you're two or three steps down the road, they get that hope. They go, oh, okay, well, she went through it. Um, that means I, I can go ahead and follow some of this stuff. Or yeah, I, she gets how I feel. Um, I feel better because someone's kind of commiserating with me. 
I love that. Now we've been talking about business books or, or nonfiction books. Mm -hmm. um, what would you like? I know you just launched a, um, in fact, I'm so sorry. I have the book. I'm going to load it up while you're talking. You just launched a, there it is in living color. Okay. So tell me a little bit about this book because like this obviously is a passion project because it's a fiction book. Like tell me like how you came up with it and why you wanted to publish it. Yeah. Um, so the books that I do are fiction uh, for the most part, except for the spark method. Um, but Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I was thinking the opposite. Okay, cool. Tell me. Yeah, everything's fiction except the spark method, which is how to write a book for your business. Um, okay. The Treasures We Seek and uh, the one I did before that, Braving the Shore. Those are books about some of the things that I've experienced along my journey. And I know not everybody reads non or not, yeah, not everybody reads nonfiction. So I wanted to give these women, um, you know, the same sort of experiences and ability to learn. Um, so when somebody picks up one of my books, they can kind of dive into this other world. And it's not somebody saying, hey, you should do this. This is what I've done. It's, wow, let me follow her journey. And I'm going to be able to reflect a little bit on my own too. That is so cool. So you actually use the fictional characters to get your point across. Yeah. Girl, that is awesome. A little subliminal learning there. I yeah. love that. Wow. Okay. So I have to share with you that I think, I don't know if you know that like I created a journal, I'm self publishing it. It's yeah. nothing fancy, but it's, I think going to be very impactful for the type A overwhelmed crazy moms that I'm sure we've talked before you're the same way like you're you are do everything volunteer for everything get it all you know done girl and I've had this journey all my life I just recently took the Enneagram test and I people kept going oh you're a seven you're a seven you know and I'm like really I don't know like yeah I'm fun but seems a little superficial I don't know you know and so I finally this weekend we were on a girls weekend away and we all took it and I'm a three Huh. which is uh, an achiever. Right. And okay. I always wonder why I'm such a spaz, like, get, you know, that's, you know, I, I have all this childhood issues about, you know, always my dad said the word lazy was a four letter word, you know? And so, um, okay. so I've always had all these books in mind. So I thought I'm just going to get this journal done. And, um, it's something that women can hopefully learn with me going from overwhelmed to overjoyed, which is I'm excited about. Nice. Um, but I've also had these like fiction books that are, stem in and so you can give me your opinion so they stem in reality so one is based on my grandmother's life that of course she's passed away so i can't get any more information than from the story she shared with me as a child mm -hmm. um so so i don't even know if there's a market for that i don't even care if there's a market for that but um so that so i the what you just said kind of interests me like i could make her into a character that teaches a lesson is that what you're mm -hmm. saying yeah um, not in a like obvious, obvious way, but um, like in my book, Kenzie, my character, she learns how to be able to trust herself again because she went through a really rough breakup and she feels like, you know, she just destroys everything. And she, it was with a narcissist she was in a relationship with. And so he kind of you know, made her feel like, oh, this was all your fault and you, you ruined things. And so she's going around like being a people pleaser and needing get validation from people. And I know that's a huge thing for women is that yes. we're always like, well, did I do it right? And oh my God, I can't believe I broke that. You know, we're always down on ourselves. And she kind of manages to turn it around when she goes on this trip to Italy with her best friend and starts kind of opening up and saying, okay, no, maybe I can try new things. Maybe I can be vulnerable. Okay, can I buy this book and like, can I send it to you to be autographed? Because that is amazing. Thank you. Wow. No, seriously, can I buy a book from you? I'll bring books when uh, we go to Podfest. Oh, yes. Okay, but I want to buy it from you and I want it, I would like you to sign it because obviously you're super famous and I'm, you know, going to fangirl over you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Seriously, I have a million more questions, but we are running out of time. So is there, um, how can someone get a hold of you, Corey? Yeah. Um, if you go to my website, Aurora Corialis Publishing, that's Corey, C-O-R-I <laughs> dot com. Um, you can get, go through the contact form there. Um, I'm on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn as Corey Wamsley. Okay. And I will make sure to put your website link because um, I know it's not clickable in the in the video. So I'll make sure to put Wesley in the show notes. So everyone, so if they are even like thinking about 
a book or wanting to get published and leaving a legacy for their themselves, their family, their children, um, you are the person that they need to go to, right? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today, Corey. You are truly a blessing to so many people. And um, I'm just so excited to be able to hug you in person in January at PodFest. Yes, I'm excited. Thank and by you the way, me. we have like 13 seconds. We will be at podcast in January in Orlando, Florida, uh, speaking about being and having a live stream and podcast show. So I'm just absolutely thrilled to be in the same network as you, Corey. And until next time, um, have a brilliant day, be brilliant in all you do. And we will see you next week, same time, same channel. Um, and I hope you have a brilliant day. Bye. You can learn more about me and my products and services at anotherbrilliantidea.com. Make sure you join me every week on the SWE Media Network YouTube channel and wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. You can learn more about me and my products and services at anotherbrilliantidea.com. Make sure you join me every week on the SWE Media Network YouTube channel and wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.